What's going on, my beautiful Bravo lovers? I hope y'all are ready to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because we are talking about everything that we know for the upcoming season 12. Y'all, it's crazy. We have got storylines. We have things that we can expect. We have major drama. We have new housewives, full-time and friends, we're gonna talk about who's returning, who's not returning, and everything in between. So if you love The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills just as much as I do, then stick around because we are talking about all of it today. So let's first start with some filming updates. Filming began back in October of 2021. I believe they are done filming. They are putting it all together. All the ladies are filming their intro looks. I follow all of them on Instagram. Yes, I do. Rina, Crystal, Sutton, Erica, Dorit, and other little nuggets of surprises that we're going to talk about later have all posted little like Instagram reels, posted on Instagram, some behind the scenes of them filming their intro. It looks like all of the ladies are pretty in red for the season 12 Real Housewives of Beverly Hills intro. I love, and it just, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, they know how to give little, like give the fans a little taste a little, a little mm, morsel of goodness to hold us over. I'm ready. I am so ready for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills to return. So let's talk about the cast. Who is returning? Who is not returning? Now, I'm going to say this. They're all coming back. Every single one of them is coming back for season 12 of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Kyle, Lisa, Erica, Sutton, Garcelle, Dorit, Crystal, all coming back. Did I say Crystal twice? I might have said Crystal twice. All of them coming freaking back. Kathy Hilton is reprising her role as a friend of. They wanted to make her full time, but that was not Kathy's gig. And you know, I'm not surprised. She's made it very, very, very clear that she does not want to be full-time. She wants to come and go as she pleases, be part of the cast when she wants to be part of it, but not have the extra pressure of being a full-time housewife. So I wasn't really surprised that Kathy is just gonna be a friend and not full-time. Honestly, I'm fucking glad that she's back, seriously. We've got new blood, y'all. We have got new freaking blood. We are gonna have a eight member cast for season 12 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Selena, Selena, Diana Jenkins is going to be joining the other seven ladies as a full-time diamond holding cast member. Now I have all my articles pulled up. I want to read you a little bit about who Sanella, 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 I am so sorry if I'm butchering that name. So she is the newest housewife. She is a philanthropist who founded Neuro Brands, a lifestyle drink company. Now I had to Google what Neuro Brand drinks are. Oh, I knew it. So they're that drink company that has like Neuro Bliss, Neuro Sleep, and they're supposed to like enhance your mood. I have had these drinks and they're, they're not bad. They're not good either, but they've been around for like a while and the marketing on them is like, it's kind of why I got the drink, but she is the founder of Neuro Brands, a lifestyle drink company. She is a mother of three. She runs the Jenkins Pen Haitian Relief Organization, which she co-founded with actor Sean Penn. 
So she's also married to a British financier, Roger Jenkins, and they were married from 99 to 2011. So we have Sanella Diana Jenkins coming on the scene as a brand new full-time housewife. And we also have a brand new friend of. So she is on the scene because of Garcelle. This woman and Garcelle are very good friends. Her name is Sheree Zampino. So a little bit about Sheree. She is an artist and an entrepreneur. She runs a skincare line called Whoop Ash. Whoop Ash. Whoop ass. Oh, I just got that. It's very clever. Very clever, Sheree. And she is Will Smith's ex-wife. And they share a son together, Trey Smith, who is 29 years old. And Sheree still remains very close to not only Will, but Jada Pinkett Smith. I hope we get a Will Smith or like a Jada Pinkett Smith cameo this season. I am kind of obsessed with it. I am really excited about this very large cast. So we're going to have eight full-time cast members and we're gonna have two friends of. It is gonna be a wild freaking season, y'all. So I know what y'all are probably really excited to talk about, the drama. The drama that we can expect for the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So it's no shocker that we are going to have a continuation of the Erica Jane legal drama, divorce drama. It's literally gonna be a continuation of the reunion. So what ended up happening is they filmed the four part reunion and then literally immediately after, they went right back into filming because the producers want to cash in on the Erica Jane storyline. So, Erica Jane, gonna be a very, very big part of season 12 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, especially since there's more shit coming out, y'all. So, according to Us Weekly, Erica Jane's estranged husband, Tom Girardi, former law firm, allegedly owes more than $500 million to creditors. So, we are going to see these creditors go after Erica Jane for the money. The orphans and the victims of what happened, they're all going after Erica Jane. So, I know that stories came out that Erica Jane was released from all of the the legal stuff. She was released from it all, but they're still going after her and they're finding loopholes and ways to go after her to collect the money from these victims and collect the debts. And they're going after her because she now has a new, like a new hairline, like an extension line that she just launched. She also has money from the show. She has money from her books. She has money from Erica Jane. So she has money coming in and these people are looking at her and saying, well, if Tom can't give us the money, we're going after her. So we're gonna see all of that unfold. I also read that she's now flat ass broke and um, is behind on her rent and can't pay rent. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. But I'm going to say this, all right? I have softened up a little bit to Erica. I really, I really have. And that's that on that. So we're going to have all of the Erica Jane legal woes, divorce woes. They're not going anywhere. We're going to see that all play out. So that's for um, Erica. That's what... Erica is going to be giving the people for this season. Now, we also have Dorit's drama. And I really wouldn't call this drama. It's horrific. So, back in November, she had a home invasion, an armed robbery. We're going to see that play out this season. That is Dorit's heavy freaking talking point. She essentially like had to beg for her life. 
had to beg these people not to kill her kids. It was horrific when I read about it and heard about this. So PK was not even in town. He was in, I believe, London or the UK or something, wasn't home. She was asleep in bed. Her kids were in their rooms and these people broke into her house with armed guns and stole all of her possessions and threatened to kill her and her kids. Horrific. So all of that is what we can expect play out for Dorit for this season. We also have um, Kyle. She is hosting a bar mitzvah for her daughter. So that's going to be something Kyle's going to be talking about this season. Um, Kathy is still knee deep planning Paris's wedding that happened in the fall. So we can expect, even though all of that played out on Paris getting married or Paris happily ever after, or whatever the fuck it's called, on Peacock, I think it's going to bleed over and Kathy is going to be talking about that this season as well. Speaking of freaking Kathy Hilton, we have to talk about the Kathy Hilton meltdown. The ladies made a, a trip to Aspen and y'all probably have read about this. Kathy Hilton had a major meltdown. And a lot of it is hearsay, and a lot of it has been debunked or said that's not true. But rumor has it that a lot of crap went down during this Aspen trip. So what I'm reading is that Kathy held a meltdown, refused to film, and even sent Lisa Rinna a cease and desist letter over the matter, which... Lisa Rinna posted about on Instagram and then quickly deleted it saying, oh damn, are we back to cease and desist? Oof. So here's what happened. The ladies were partying one weekend in Aspen. Bravo cameras stopped rolling. They continued to party at this Aspen club, which is a prestigious members only lounge that Kathy Hilton has frequented. The article says that Kathy Hilton was jet lagged exhausted and wanted to hear the DJ play a specific Michael Jackson song. This sounds really fucking silly, y'all. So the DJ didn't hear her, made a rude comment, basically told her to go back to LA. It caused Kathy Hilton to go over the edge. They had a heated exchange of words. People shouted that they were looking at white privilege and needed to back off. I guess we're going to have to see how all of this plays out, but it just kind of seems that Kathy wanted a song to play, didn't get her way, and freaked the hell out, and then lashed out at all of the cast members. I don't really know. I guess we need to wait and see. But guys, from what I've been reading about the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, it's going to be juicy. It's going to be scandalous. It's going to give us everything that we need. May 11th is the rumored premiere date for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Andy Cohen has teased and said it's one of the best premieres of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills ever. Big premiere of Beverly Hills uh coming up. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> say but, everything, no, my the, friend. I would say it's the best premiere of Beverly Hills, best first episode of Beverly Hills wow. that I've seen. I thought. <laughs> the entire cast is coming back. We have two new women joining the group. We have so much drama. Erica Jane drama. We have the Dorit home invasion. We have this rumored, alleged Kathy Hilton meltdown, refusing to film with any everybody. Like, it's gonna be wild. Are you ready for it? Buckle up. I am gonna say this. I think we can anticipate a mid-April, end of April trailer drop. You wanna stick around for that because y'all know how much I love to film a reaction video. It's so much fun. One of my favorite types of videos to film around here. 
So make sure you get subscribed to my channel. Comment below, what are we excited about for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Mark your calendars, May 11th, question mark, maybe. That's what I've heard. Get subscribed, give this video a big thumbs up, and comment below and let's talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Love you, baby.